Chapter 6, Accountability versus Responsibility, and Chapter 7, Community Standards versus Individualized Rights, by Kristen Herring, for EDLD 5413, Building Leader Internship, under Dr. Kimberly Wilkerson. Accountability in education began in California in 1978 with Proposition, where taxpayers no longer wanted to pay for public schools. There are 10 measures of accountability. They are political, legal, bureaucratic, professional, market accountabilities, parent, student, fiscal, personal forms, and public accountability. Accountability assists with making schools better, improving teacher lessons, improving school culture, increasing graduation rates, equitable distribution of resources, providing checks and balances within school budgets, making disparities in student achievement visible to all stakeholders, and recognizing students' strengths and weaknesses. Shapiro and Gross, 2013. School report cards are based on formative assessments that are used to determine success of the school. Socioeconomic status, addiction problems in families, pollution, and criminal activity are impactful factors that stakeholders do not consider when looking at school report cards. School report cards do consider attendance rates, and special ed scores um, are included in the uh, formative assessment scores because students are expected to learn the standards. Shapiro and Gross, 2013. <clears throat> Responsibility begs for all stakeholders to be held accountable for success of the students, not just the schools. That includes taxpayers, legislatures, parents, teachers, administrations, and students. Shapiro and Gross, 2013. Case Study 6.3, Balancing Responsibility, Monitoring Attendance at School, and or Being an Advocate for Children. There were three children in an elementary school with excessive absences, the two older children had excessive absences, and the kindergartner had even more absences. Becky, the kindergartner, may be removed from the kindergarten program because it is not required. The counselor called the mom to let her know that she would follow the school's attendance policy due to excessive absences and submit the information to the assistant superintendent who would forward it to the attorney. They discussed the school's policy and the state's attendance policy. She provided past letters that had been sent home beginning at the fifth absence, and um, she asked for copies of doctor's notes that have not been submitted yet. Teachers have reported complaints by the children that they are, have not been fed breakfast, and there's concerns there. The biological father of the kindergartner said mom has asked him for money for groceries. The family has been under the supervision of children and youth services, and Lydia and Jack had been removed but recently returned. Shapiro and Gross, 2013. <clears throat> there is light to turbulence between... There is light turbulence between the family and school at this time, but could be increased if Mrs. O'Hara threatens the family. She and the principal could schedule a meeting with the parents to discuss the policy in person and say that upon the next absence, they will report to the assistant superintendent and to children and youth services. If they call without warning, it may escal escalate the turbulence. 2017 Arkansas Code Title VI is the law that uh, elementary and secondary education is to follow about attendance, adopt, um, and it, it's, it takes into consideration unexcused absences. All faculty and staff and administrators are mandated reporters of neglect and are required to report. Arkansas School Discipline Laws 2022. Mrs. O'Hara is blinded by her care for the children and not wanting them to be removed, but wanting the parents to step up and do their part. The law allows the school to create their attendance policy. I think that a standard law with the number of dates would assist schools and families with consistency across the state. Mr. Shuey should do what he needs to to care for his daughter. Mrs. O'Hara should report as she is supposed to, but also provide care by checking in to see what the family needs in order to ensure that the kids are in school and able to eat. Individual rights versus the community. <clears throat> Community standards versus individual rights uh, provide checks and balances between the community and individuals, and it is necessary for the two in order for them not to infringe on the rights of the other. Individual rights. Uh, students have the right to learn or the right not to learn. It's a choice. With education, individuals 
uh, are able to give back to the community they live in. Uh, there is the right to have individuality. Uh, one key thing is that wealthy families can choose where children will be educated, which may reduce diverse experiences in their learning. For the community, uh, they are made, communities are made up of a variety of individuals. Benefits, uh, the community benefits as individuals in the community learn and suffers if individuals do not learn. Schools are made up of community members and teach individuals how to work together, which impacts their life together in the community. Charter schools are free public schools that give families an option in education and may prevent students from becoming culturally relevant citizens. Shapiro and Gross, 2013. Case Study 7.1, The Trouble with Joe, Joker, Joker or Terrorist. <clears throat> Joe was a student known for continual behavior problems, including hostility, confrontation of students, leading to fights, and demoralizing the school faculty. Students feared Joe because of his explosive behavior towards them. Teachers perceived Joe as capable of achieving. Uh, Joe had, re had joined the technology club and began missing classes, which was affecting his grades. So Mrs. Ambrose, concerned about Joe's volatile behavior, did continue to push Joe to get his work completed in a 10 class with a warning that he, would, he was going to fail um, and re be removed from the technology class if he did not get his assignments completed. This angered him, so on his home computer, Joe developed a web page grapping about the school's policy and threatening the teacher. He asked others to find someone on his hit list that he made, and uh, he asked them to take care of them. Shapiro and Gross, 2013. <clears throat> the principal's reaction and suspension in response to the threats made Joe on his web page, uh, made by Joe on his web page, was quick, very fast. Joe's individual right was lost when he made the threat to the people of the school community, and his comment that it was a joke was not to be considered. Due to the threat, Joe should not have been given time to defend himself. I do not believe alternative measures should be taken in place of his suspension, but I do believe that the counselor should be required, or a counselor should be required to evaluate him before he returns to the school setting, and counseling should be mandatory. The ethics of profession expects the principal and teacher to educate Joe, but their social and emotional health may suffer out of fear for themselves and or others. Joe is silenced in that he cannot defend himself. The faculty is silenced knowing he is able to return in three days after making these threats. The families and students are able to speak, but their voices have not changed the punishment, so they may feel that they are being silenced. Joe was punished for his off-campus behavior, because he threatened and sought others to help him hurt teachers. Mahoney versus BL ruled that students lost their right to free speech when they made threats to, um, to teachers. Supreme Court of the United States, 2022. The level of turbulence in the school is severe and may move to extreme if parents continue to feel that their students are not safe on campus. The U.S. Supreme Court has the Mahoney case that set precedents. One option is an evaluation of alternative learning environment for Joe. Joe has not learned to control his violent behavior, which will impact his future job, his family, and ultimately the community. It is necessary that the school assist him with learning self-control. Joe needs a referral for counseling services that can work with him on self-control. <clears throat>